On a side note, as you can see, I still got chipmunk face. Uh, I got that root canal redone on Tuesday and instead of going away, my face seems to be swelling more, so I do apologize. Hopefully that'll be gone in a few days. But uh, I'm kind of talking a little bit weird and my face hurts, but anyway. Hey guys, before we get started, I wanted to take a quick minute and I want to say thank you to everybody who um, leaves comments, gives me uh, tips and tricks, and who subscribe to the channel. Um, as it turns out, I kind of started this channel because I wanted to, number one, learn how to edit and make videos, but I also wanted to kind of give back a little bit because I've learned so much from YouTube over the years, so I thought if there's any way I could help anybody um, with a video, that would be cool. But as it turns out, YouTube, once again, all of you guys have helped me more than I could possibly help you. And I, I sincerely want to say thank you for hanging around the channel and watching the videos and, and helping me out as well. And this video today is a, a inspired from Groovy Motion Stormtroopers post. So let's get into that. And thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't yet. So there was a post by Groovy Motion a while back that was talking about his parents Forrester and his Crosstrek and how at on cruise control at a specific speed they had different RPMs and how sometimes the car wouldn't shift into the highest gear and sometimes it would and my 14 was very similar um, sometimes you had to kind of trick it to get it to shift into that highest gear to try to get the best gas mileage and to that post Stormtrooper posted about a cold spell that he had or when it is cold and getting poor mileage in his 17 cross trek. And he noticed there was a correlation between the car not shifting into its highest gear and oil temperature, which I thought was pretty fascinating. And according to his, to what he noticed, he could not get his car to shift into the highest gear until his car hit 176 degrees oil temperature. So that got me thinking, I'm gonna check it out for my vehicle and see how that goes. We're not that cold in Tucson normally. In the wintertime, we do freeze a few times. And this last week has been a bit of a cold spell for us. Um, the mornings have been below 40. And specifically yesterday morning on the way to work, I paid attention to oil temp and the outside temperature according to the car was 37 to 39 degrees. My car would not shift into seventh gear until my oil temperature hit 140, which I've never really paid attention to before. Um, so and on the way to work, I kept noticing my RPMs weren't dropping down as far. So I thought, ah, oh, put it in manual. And I looked, it was in sixth gear. So I put it back and I did that until the car finally, I watched the RPMs fall. And when it did, it was about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So this morning, got up from the station. It was even colder last night and it's a little bit cooler out where I work. And the car was reading 35 degrees and I saw 32 degrees on the way home as well and I was watching the oil temperature versus the RPMs again. And today, the RPMs were sitting even higher, Did them, shifted into manual mode, and I was in fifth gear. Now, I could use the paddles and shift up to sixth, but when I'd go back to drive, the RPMs would kick back up, and so it would kick me back down to fifth gear. I thought that was kind of interesting. So, this was all before I hit 140 degrees. As soon as I hit about 140, it could be a little tiny bit less, a little bit more, the, RP, the car would actually shift into sixth, and then it would allow me to shift into seventh. And in both directions to and from work, when it's warm outside or when the engine's warm, I have no issues going into seventh gear. So it definitely seems to be related to the oil temperature and the CVT. So it kind of definitely seems to be one reason why folks in colder climates are getting less gas mileage. Um, so Stormtrooper, that's awesome, thank you. And the reason I made this video is I kind of mostly just for informational purposes. I'm wondering if there are other people who are in cold climates, if you've noticed that your CVT will not shift up to its um, highest gear until your oil temperature hits a specific temperature. So if you guys can keep an eye on that the next few days and please leave comments below so maybe we can figure this out. Um, thanks to Groovy, thanks to Stormtrooper, thanks to everybody who comments, as I mentioned earlier, you guys are the best and uh, keep coming back for more videos. 
And all, as always, if you have suggestions, leave them below, and I'll try to get some videos made for you. Have a great day, guys.